गाइज आज मैं जिस कॉलेज में खड़ा हूँ और इसका आपको रियलिटी चेक रिव्यू देने वाला हूँ ऑथेंटिक लोगों से बात करके इस कॉलेज में आके वो उसे ओपन मैगजीन हैज़ रैंक दिस कॉलेज एज रैंक वन अमॉन्ग ऑल दी टॉप प्राइवेट कॉलेज इन कर्नाटका स्टेट एम बी ए कॉलेज प्राइवेट कॉलेज में इसे इंडिया टूडे एंड बिजनेस टूडे दोनों ने ही टॉप सेवेंटीन कॉलेज में रखा है अमॉन्ग द टॉप सेवेंटीन रैंक कॉलेज एम बी ए कॉलेज इन इंडिया थर्टी थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स अप्लाई ऑलमोस्ट एवरी ईयर टू गेट इन द कॉलेज एन एम आई एम एस बैंगलोर माई डियर फ्रेंड्स ओवरऑल रैंकिंग की बात करें तो बिजनेस टूडे हैज रैंक डेट एट थर्टी टू एंड फॉर्चून इंडिया हैज रैंक डेट एट थर्टी फोर्थ प्लेस ये कॉलेज ऑफ कॉर्स ए आई सी टी एक्रेडिटेड है एन ए ए सी एक्रेडिटेड है तो इट्स अमॉन्ग दिस टाल वॉर्ड्स ऑफ द प्राइवेट एम बी ए कॉलेज सो यू नीड हंड्रेड एंड टू क्रेडिट्स टू गेट दिस एम बी ए कोर्स जनरली एक सब्जेक्ट तीन क्रेडिट का होता है और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर यहाँ का बहुत ही बेहतरीन है मैं अभी यहाँ के गोल्फ कोर्ट में खड़ा हूँ लोग देखो मज़ा ले रहे हैं गोल्फ खेल रहे हैं अभी तो मैं आपको सारा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दिखाऊंगा धीरे धीरे बच्चों से बात करूंगा और डायरेक्टर मैडम से बात करूंगा सो दैट यू नो द रियलिटी अबाउट एन एम आई एम एस बैंगलोर वॉट मेड यू वाइज चूज एन एम आई एम एस बैंगलोर सम ऑफ यू गुड आंसर या सो एज एन एनालिटिक्स मेजर आई नो दट एन एम आई एम एस बैंगलोर इज एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द फ्यू यूनिवर्सिटीज हु ऑफर्स बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स एज ए सेपरेट कोर्स द ग्रोथ दैट वी हैव सीन इन द पास फिफ्टीन ईयर्स इज अमेजिंग सो आई थिंक दैट इज समथिंग एवरी वन एवरी स्टूडेंट वॉन्ट्स टू बी पार्ट ऑफ अ कॉलेज विच ग्रोज एंड प्रॉस्पर्स या सो आई डिड माई समर इंटर्नशिप विद एस इंडियन इंजीनियरिंग सोल्यूशन विच इज अब्सिडरी ऑफ कोलाबरा माई पर्टिकुलर field in the domain in which i did my summer internship was uh, related to analytics and market research itself okay and uh, the experience overall in sendion was really great the overall work that i did it included uh, competitive analysis doing competitive analysis accumulating the market data that is present over there uh, assortment gap analysis and also finding out a go to market strategy for the new product that is be- going to be launched at sendion uh, solutions itself guys i have just walked into the bloomberg terminal of nmms bangalore yeah uh so tell us something about yourself what are you doing kya kaam kar rahe ho aap uh so i'm just uh, extracting filthy financial data from bloomberg for one of your projects i interned with rccm a uh, show group yeah her dish shop is a very hefty style is it true <laughs> yes it is and where was it inter- inter- in which city uh so i was located in hyderabad so actually mm-hmm. I, as you have already heard about the hefty style fund along with that they offered uh, you know accommodation for the entire two months duration where yeah so we stayed in one of the hotel in okay, a five star or four star hotel yeah four star So I was uh, basically a finops intern, which is a financial operations intern. Okay. Every intern is assigned different project mm. as per you know their uh, specification, that as per the team that they are assigned to. The last day of the internship, we are required to present. There is a PPT that happens, and all the you know directors and PVPs are there. To- If they like it, then you get a PPT. If you get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, we now have with us the vice president of the student council and the president of the placement committee of NMMS Bangalore, and I have some great questions for them. First of all I want to talk about placements in this part of the video. So NMIMS Bangalore has always had 100% placements for the last few years. Can you tell us about first of all uh, something about the placement of last year and also um, about how many PPOs are you expecting this year? Okay, right. Uh, so NMIMS Bangalore has been doing pretty well since inception. And last year the average that we closed at was around 40 lakhs per annum. Uh, so, uh, talking about the PPOs that we are expecting for this year, so we have got received uh, excellent feedbacks for the students, and we are expecting that we might clo- close with somewhere around twenty to thirty percent. That's a very good number. So you just talked about PPO. Not everyone knows what is a PPO. How is the process of a PPO in a particular college, especially in MIMS Bangalore? Could you tell us about these two things? What is a PPO, and how does the process of PPO work from a placement perspective? Right. So, a uh, PPO refers to a pre-placement offer, hmm. which is extended to students post their summer internship. Okay. Uh, talking about the growth again. So, year on year, we try to focus on the kind of roles that we are offered because good roles offer us good compensation as well. So, that is where the focus is. Uh, talking about how we are leveraging uh, our college in Bangalore as a location. So, we try to invite. industry leaders who have had a experience of more than 20 years in the specified industries and get them here and talk to the sp- uh, students and have focused group discussions classes are usually from 8:30 to 5:30 aur uske baad bhi itne sare clubs hain committees hain there are seven committees and 11 clubs in the college aur itne sare events hote hain there are a lot of assignments corporate competitions in mein participate karte hain wo hote hain bus b schools mein you need to you know indulge in more competition so that you can think out of the box hmm. so and time will jada uske liye so while first year might seem exhausting with time you get to learn how to manage your time guys now we're going to look at the classroom of nmms bangalore hi guys how are you guys doing so this is the classroom you can see this is the bright and energetic class 
ये पूरा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है वेरी स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर See, my experience with Dell has been very encouraging and very engaging. Yeah. Right. So, in an MBA classroom, typically you have a flipped classroom method. There is asynchronous learning happens. Absolutely. Now, in asynchronous learning, you expect the participants to come prepared to the class. Yes. At an individual level, and also they prepare in groups, and then come to the classroom to create a greater level of learning. So that is very very useful when it comes to participant-centered learning. in participant centered learning for example you have case studies or simulations or role plays all that uh, you have people who study that and come to the class to build a higher higher learning my last question if you have to give one piece of advice to someone wishing to join nmims bangalore what would it be okay so the thing is now uh, people who are really passionate about building a career or uh, you know becoming a businessman entrepreneur all that uh, so when you really follow your passion it naturally comes that you have to commit seriously into a post graduation so therefore uh i would say the i mean it's a right i mean really great place to be at the same time it also demands you to work and invest because without without investment you have no gains mm. your return is going to be dependent on your investment so we have with us now baklavati ma'am she is program coordinator for nmms bangalore and she man- manages student exchange as well so nmms bangalore se kafi log bahar jaate hain abroad पढ़ने के लिए जिसे स्टूडेंट एक्सचेंज कहा जाता है सो दिस ईयर आई एम टोल्ड दैट थ्री स्टूडेंट्स हैव गॉन टू फ्रांस सो मैम टेल अस एंड द व्यूअर्स कि किसी को एन एम एम एस बैंगलोर से अब्रॉड जाना है स्टूडेंट एक्सचेंज में तो वट इज़ द प्रोसेस एंड वेर विच आर द यूनिवर्सिटीज पैर दे कैन गो टू सी वी हैव एक्चुअली मल्टीपल स्टूडेंट्स हैव ऑलरेडी विजिटेड दी न्यूमरस यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड थ्रू अवर इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम वॉट वी ऑफर एट एन एम आई एम एस बैंगलोर हमारे कॉलेज का एन एम आई एम एस बैंगलोर का टाइप्स है बहुत सारे यूनिवर्सिटीज के साथ फ्रांस में है जर्मनी में है और हर साल मिनिमम टेन परसेंट तो बच्चे जाते हैं सो नाउ वी हैव द डायरेक्टर ऑफ एन एम आई एम एस बैंगलोर डॉक्टर नारायणी मैम द मोमेंट आई स्पोकन टू हर आई एम इन ऑफ आर एनर्जी आई एम इन लव विद एनर्जी सो मैम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल एस इफ देर इज एन एम बी एस्पिरेंट हु हैज एन एम एम एस बैंगलोर इज वन ऑफ हिज और हर चॉइस इफ यू हैव टू हाईलाइट टू हर अज वॉट डे बी लेट मैम वॉक यू थ्रू वाई वी हैव अचीव दिस रैंकिंग एंड वॉट मेड एस टू रीच टू दिस हाइट द लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स द क्वालिटी ऑफ आर टीचिंग आई थैलेब फैकल्टी थीम बोथ ड्रॉन फ्रॉम अकेडमी एज वेल एज फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्री the stellar placement records that makes us to reach to this height i want to talk more about the placements that you talked about i have personally been tracking in mims bangalore because uh, the the moment the college came in i was also appearing for my mb exams and it has achieved 100% placements for 13 years i think consecutively as a new campus how do you ensure this 100% placements for students we are in the market for the 14th in year and uh, how do we achieve this consistent placement and uh, supply that graduates to the corporate who is our important stakeholders many loyal recruiters we have which uh, we can plethora of uh, across industries and sectors how do we achieve it the curricula mm-hmm. we have uh, wacsb accredited curriculum which has been followed by mumbai campus we do follow we are not focusing on concepts we are teaching skills habits attitude and knowledge mm-hmm. so that makes it uh, overall development for our graduates Perfect. Perfect. What are the things that you foresee in the future? See, uh, NMMS is uh, Bangalore campus. After achieving excellence in placements in academia, we are now focusing on ESG parameters and taking the campus to the next level. Hmm. I'll give you a couple of uh, incidences how to relate the uh, concepts with the real life. Yes. And number one, our placement record hmm. uh, has been. Uh, audited by Business India, Business Today, and all other. So when we claim we have a stellar placement record, uh, we mean what we say, and we have lot of uh, CSR activities run by the students. So it is not about only developing the graduates on management concepts and practices, but also they are responsible individual for the society and the corporate. So when the NMMS graduate students are being recruited by the corporate houses. they come back here again yeah, yeah so that helps us to achieve our uh, you know uh, placements i would like to close it with a closing note we are not only training them for the individual uh, in indian level we have uh, international collaboration with thunderbird university of bristol and dandi uh, from uk students have come here we are conducting leadership immersion programs at bengaluru campus in association with all the students 
and they are talking about inclusive education so that will make nmm as bengaluru at a global level aur ek aur baat main aapko bata dun ki abhi registrations chalu hain nmm ke sare mba programs ke to agar aapko koi bhi nmm ka mba program mein admission lene ka man hai ya aap le sakte ho to nmat ke liye zarur involve karo will be my advice aur nmm ka form bhi bharo ठीक है मैंने डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में मैंने एनमेट का रजिस्ट्रेशन लिंक डाल लिंक डाल दिया है तो आप जरूर रिफर करें और दोस्तों आपको मैंने कैंपस दिखाया पूरा एनएमएमएस आपको इसका बेस्ट पार्ट क्या लगा कैंपस का मुझे कमेंट्स में लिख के बताओ प्लीज़